This is the video complement to Chapter 3 of my Home IT Handbook, which you can download for free at wifiguy.net, the site that helps you go from computer novice to home IT guru. In this video, we're going to discuss backing up your wireless router's configuration. Sometimes after adding multiple configurations to your router, things might start to get a little bit confusing and you may feel the urge to just blow everything away and start from scratch. In other cases, you may be getting some kind of a strange error that just doesn't go away no matter what you do. In both cases, the best way to handle this is to simply reset your router. This is done with the reset button on the back. It'll either be a little hole or it'll be a little button. Now on this router that I'm on now, you basically just hold down the button for five seconds while the router is on. The router will reboot to its default configuration. Of course, once you get to this point, you don't want to have to redo every single setting you've put on your wireless router since you've owned it. The whole point was just to get rid of the last few configurations. So what you can do is once you get your wireless router to a point where you'd like it, you can simply do a backup of that configuration into a file, save it, and then when you start playing around with resets and doing all kinds of things later, you can simply reset the router, upload that configuration backup back into your router, and you're back to where you were before you started screwing around. So let's go back to our TP-Link router. Okay, to back up our wireless router's configuration, we go to Advanced, scroll down to System Tools, and go Backup and Restore. So this is about as simple as it gets. Okay, you've got a nice little utility here. Backup, restore, factory default restore. You can actually go over here if you want to restore everything except for your cloud account and your login information, or you can just straight up restore it to factory defaults. You don't even have to use the button. So to back up our wireless routers configuration, we simply click on backup and the .bin file is automatically downloaded to our computer. We can then find that file location and we can leave it as it is. As you can see it gives us a convenient name here, the router and the date, or if we wanted to we could always rename it to something else. Then, if we want to restore that file, it's a simple matter of clicking on Browse, going back to that file's location, clicking Open, and then hitting Restore. Now, in this case, I don't need to do a restore, so I won't be clicking on Restore. So, that's basically it. In a few seconds, you save yourself a lot of time and a lot of frustration. This is one of those things where you think you'll never need it until you do. Believe me, I've run into many instances when I was grateful that I took the time to save a backup copy of my wireless router configuration. Thanks for watching. This video is one section of the much more complete video above. These videos are part of a video series I'm creating to complement my free ebook, The Home IT Handbook. You can download it for free in the link below. I hope you got something out of this one. If you did, please do the YouTube doinky doink.